What enduring qualities do you think make the 1931 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde an everlasting symbol of the industry? This iconic film, based on Robert Louis Stevenson's novella, has left an indelible mark on cinema history. As we delve into the story of Dr. Henry Jekyll's transformation into the sinister Mr. Edward Hyde, we'll explore the enduring elements that have kept this classic movie relevant throughout the years. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. And now, let's unlock some interesting facts about the film Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. A heavy makeup he wore as Hyde almost damaged Frederick March's face. In the 1931 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Frederick March donned heavy makeup for his transformation into Mr. Hyde. The extensive use of makeup almost caused damage to his face. This fact highlights the physical toll March endured to portray the dual roles of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It also underscores the commitment of actors in the early days of cinema, willing to go to great lengths to bring their characters to life. This makeup challenge is just one aspect of the intriguing history behind the making of the film. Stay tuned for more insights into this iconic movie. The 1931 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde made history by being the very first film screened at the world's inaugural film festival on August 6, 1932, in Venice, Italy. This groundbreaking event marked the beginning of a cinematic journey that would continue to captivate audiences for generations. Over the years, the film underwent changes, with an 80-minute version being the sole option for viewers for an extended period. However, in the mid-1990s, a 92-minute version was released, containing previously censored scenes that added depth to the narrative. Additionally, a lesser-known fact is that the nephew of the original story's author, Robert Louis Stevenson, made a small, uncredited appearance in the film. These intriguing aspects of the film's history shed light on its enduring legacy and the continuous evolution of cinema. Stay tuned for more insights into this iconic movie. The 1931 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde achieved a unique cinematic feat with its Jekyll to Hyde transformation scenes. The remarkable transition was accomplished by manipulating a series of variously colored filters in front of the camera lens. Frederick March's Hyde makeup, which featured various colors, registered differently on film depending on the color filter in use. It wasn't until the late 1960s that the director, Robin Mamoulian, revealed how this ingenious technique was executed. This film also held a special place in the history of the Venice Film Festival. It was the first, and, for nearly 80 years, the only horror film nominated for the Golden Lion. This distinction remained untouched until 2009 when Georgia Romero's Survival of the Dead became the second horror film to receive this recognition. Furthermore, Dr. Jekyll in Mr. Hyde stands out as the only version where Jekyll's name is pronounced correctly as G-Call. This small detail adds a unique touch to the film's legacy. These facts shed light on the technical innovation and recognition that this classic movie garnered. It remains a testament to the enduring appeal of the Jekyll and Hyde story in cinema. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the 1931 film, holds a unique place in cinema history. It was the first horror movie ever to win an Academy Award. This achievement marked a significant milestone in the recognition of the horror genre in the film industry. The movie's success was not only a testament to the compelling story of transformation and duality, but also the exceptional talent of its lead actor, Frederick March, who convincingly portrayed both Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The film's success was not without its challenges. Studio head Adolf Zucker initially had reservations about casting Frederick March for the role, given his previous lightweight roles in cinema. However, director Robin Mamoulian believed March was the perfect choice, and this film turned out to be the pivotal role that led to Hollywood taking him seriously in more demanding roles. March's performance not only won him the first of his two Oscars, but also contributed to the enduring legacy of the film. In summary, the 1931 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde made history by being the first horror film to win an Academy Award. It showcased the talent of Frederick March and marked a turning point in his career. This fact underscores the significance of the film in the world of cinema and its enduring appeal to this day. The 1931 movie Dr. Jekyll 
and Mr. Hyde had a lasting impact on cinema history. One key fact about this film is that Mr. Hyde's appearance was based on the Neanderthal man. This choice in character design added a unique and memorable dimension to the movie. While the film achieved success, it's interesting to note that, despite its popularity, it did not save Paramount from bankruptcy. This highlights the complex financial dynamics of the movie industry during that era. Furthermore, this version of the film has stood the test of time, with many audiences and critics favoring it over the 1941 remake. A significant reason for this preference was Frederick March's Oscar-winning performance, which is widely regarded as superior to Spencer Tracy's portrayal in the later version. These facts shed light on the creative choices, financial challenges, and the enduring appeal of the 1931 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It remains a significant piece of cinematic history. John Barrymore, who had made a big comeback in the 1920 silent version, was offered the leading role in the 1931 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but turned it down. This decision marked a pivotal moment in the film's history. Instead, the role went to Frederick March, who went on to deliver an Oscar-winning performance. Barrymore's refusal and March's acceptance set the stage for the enduring legacy of this iconic film. It's a testament to the twists and turns that can shape the course of cinematic history. When MGM decided to produce its own version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in 1941 with Spencer Tracy, it acquired the rights to this film. In order to avoid any competition or unfavorable comparison, MGM essentially suppressed the 1931 version and made it unavailable for viewing for many years. This decision had a significant impact on the legacy of the 1931 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, as it was kept out of the public eye, allowing the 1941 version to take the spotlight. It's a testament to the competitive nature of the film industry and how it can influence the fate of iconic movies. The Road to Change, the unforeseen car accident that shook Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde's cast member Hollywood World. In the world of Hollywood, where fortunes can be made and lost in the blink of an eye, the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde's cast member takes an unexpected turn. This member of the iconic 1931 movie's cast, known for their contribution to the film's success, faced an unforeseen car accident that would shake the foundations of their Hollywood career. As the film industry can be both rewarding and unforgiving, this accident brought a sudden halt to what seemed like a promising Hollywood journey. It serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of life in the entertainment world. The impact of this incident went beyond just the individual involved. It had ripple effects on the cast and crew of the movie, as well as on the broader Hollywood community. The accident shed light on the importance of safety in an industry where time is often of the essence, and schedules can be grueling. This incident, often overshadowed by the glamour and glitz of Hollywood, highlights the vulnerability of those who work tirelessly behind the scenes to bring iconic movies like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde to life. It serves as a testament to the resilience and determination required to overcome unexpected obstacles in the pursuit of a Hollywood dream. In this article, we'll delve into the details of this car accident, its aftermath, and the lasting impact it had on the Hollywood journey of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde's cast member. It's a story of resilience and determination in the face of adversity, a road to change that will be forever etched in the annals of Hollywood history. As we bid adieu to this exploration of the enigmatic world of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your own unique connection to this timeless 1931 cinematic masterpiece. This film, a classic in the annals of horror and psychological thrillers, has left an indelible mark on countless souls. Perhaps you recall the first time you watched the transformation of Dr. Jekyll into the sinister Mr. Hyde. The spine-tingling suspense that gripped you, or the haunting performance of Frederick March that lingered in your thoughts long after the credits rolled. Maybe it was the eerie ambience or the thought-provoking exploration of the duality of human nature that resonated with you. Whether you've experienced it in the dim glow of a vintage movie theater, or on a cozy movie night at home, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde has a way of etching itself into our memories. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories or thoughts about this film with us. Did it offer you a fresh perspective on the complexities of the human psyche? Did it inspire you to ponder the fine line between good and evil? 
Or perhaps it simply left you with a spine-tingling thrill that remains unforgettable. Your reflections and experiences add depth to the enduring legacy of this cinematic gem. Thank you for sharing this journey through the realms of darkness and duality. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. Until our next cinematic exploration, remember that the enigmatic duality of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde continues to captivate minds and hearts across the ages. Stay curious and keep those memories alive.